Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemont. No, there we got Christopher Draves. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit your website. HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Well, you're on the internet checking out Hockey Locker's website, you can check out YouTube. Our YouTube page is from Milwaukee to Nashville. If you could give us a subscribe and click that bell, like the lamp, get notified every time we upload a video. <sighs> Today, the Nashville Predators took on the defending Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning. <sighs> Let's see, stats. All right, uh, shots on goal were 39-26 for Tampa Bay. Face-off percentage was 51 for Tampa, 51% Tampa Bay, 49% Nashville. Nashville, one for two on the power play. Tampa Bay, 0 for three. Penalty minutes were 16 for the Predators, 14 for the Lightning. Hits were 27, 20 to 17 in favor of the Lightning. Uh, block shots, Predators had 12, Tampa Bay had 8, and the Predators had one giveaway, Tampa Bay had 2. Uh, first period, the shots on goal were 10 apiece. Second period, uh, Tampa Bay out outshot Nashville 13-9, and then Tampa Bay outshot Nashville in the third, 16-7. All righty, scoring in the first, nothing. However, since they only took nine shots in the second period, well, you're about to see the interesting stat that goes here. All right. Scoring in the second period at the 358 mark is Illy Tolvanen with his sixth. He is now tie or is now in second scoring um in the uh, Calder running or second in scoring as far as rookies uh, that may get him a nod into the Calder running. Yeah. Um, uh, then we have uh, Johansson and Yarncroc on the assists. So uh, Johansson seventh and Yarncroc's fourth. Then on the power play, we have uh, Victor Arvidsson at the 914 mark uh, with an assist from Eric Halla, his fifth, or sorry, his sixth. Yarncroc, his fifth. Then scoring shorthanded is Kelly Arncroft, his seventh of the year with an assist from Matias Ekholm and Pekka Rene. Um, that is Pekka Rene's 15th point as a goalie. Um, that was scored shorthanded. Um, at this point so far, Kelly Arncroft has a point on everything. <laughs> 15 points in how many years for Pekka? Um, he's been around for, um, as of, if he plays next year, it'll be a decade. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, he's over a decade. He started in 2008. So, well, if he plays till 2028, he'll have two decades in the NA. <sighs> but, uh, scoring in the third to start it off at the 10 3 mark right around halftime. Yeah. Oh, no. Right halftime of the period. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, Steven Stamkos, 13th goal of the year, with an assist from Yanni Gord, his 8th, and Alex Kalorn, his 11th. Uh, yeah, that's... that was a lucky goal, if you look at it. Um, Fabro did – okay, look at this. Before people get mad at Fabro for what happened, Fabro did everything right. He took Gord out of the play, um, and the puck went off his skate. Not much you could do there. You're doing everything right, and sometimes bad things happen. Yeah, like I said, it was a lucky goal, so don't feel too bad, Nashville. It happens. Anyway, scoring at the 1940 mark was Matias Ekholm with his fifth with an assist from Dante Fabro, his eighth, and Kelly Yarncroc, his sixth. He uh, had a point on every goal scored, Kelly Yarncroc. Yeah, yeah. He had a hell of a game today. And, and so did Rocco, too. Like, that guy had a lot of blocked shots. He was flopping around the ice like a fish out of water. But like he was keeping the puck out of the net. So, no wonder Nashville loves him. He plays good defense. Uh, Rocco Grimaldi had... He did a lot to prevent that puck from going in, dude. No blocks. No blocks? Wow. 
As much as much as he did to prevent a goal from going in, I'm surprised he Illy didn't Tolvanen get one. had two. Arvidsson had three. Sissons had two. Yeah, they were playing defense, which is something uh, we Carrier didn't sing to have to. Yeah, see? They listened to us when we tell them to play defense. In that was for Nashville, obviously, since he had a point in the game, was Pecorine stopping 38 of 39 with a point nine seven four save percentage. Yeah, I'm wearing my uh, Pecorino jersey, you know, got to support. All right, I got an interesting stat for you guys, but we'll go with that in a second. In that for the Lightning was uh, Curtis McElhaney. Curtis McElhaney stopped 22 of 25 with a .88 save, 8, .880 save percentage. He allowed one goal even strength, one goal on the power play, and one goal shorthanded. Oh, you should tell everybody that interesting stat you told me about McElhaney. Matt Curtis McElhaney made his debut for the Iowa Chops. Well, he made his debut in the AHL. And at the time he made his debut against the Admirals, Illy Tolvanen, who's the youngest player on Nashville's team, yeah. Still, even with all the rookies, yeah. um, Ellie Tolvanen was six years old. Oh, yeah, Ellie Tolvanen was six years old when that when they had that. When yeah, he made so, his pro debut. Yeah, that's that's pretty scary right there. That guy's been around for that long. All right, your referees were Jean Hebert and Gordon Dwyer. <laughs> Hebert. Um, your linesman was. Uh, Andrew Smith and Shandor Alfonso. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for John for Tampa Bay is John Cooper. Scratch, scratch for Nashville is Mark Borveski. Scratch for Tampa Bay is uh, Andre Vasileski. <laughs> yeah. As much as those two don't roll off the tongue saying them back to back. All right. I was about to say feeling a bit tongue tied. Yes. All right. Nashville plays next on Thursday or Wednesday. One of the two. I'm trying to remember. They uh, play Thursday. Thursday against the Panthers at six at the BB and T Center. Um, down there, uh, wherever Florida. Uh, sunrise, right oh. outside of Miami. Oh, okay. Um. Up next for us is tomorrow, we have a six o'clock puck drop uh, with the Florida Everblades. Um, we will be seeing us in the same capacity. I got some uh, family stuff going on that day, so uh, we will be zooming it again. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys will be seeing us in that capacity. Uh, in other news, um, uh, recently brought to my attention, uh, John McCarron, captain of the Florida Everblades, moves into fourth all time scoring in, uh, for the Everblades system. Um, and, uh, they lead the ECHL with a goal differential of plus 46. Not bad, not bad. So there's a lot, and, and, and in this game in general, uh, just speaking to, uh, fans who may be a little worried about the rebuild. Oh, with the win, we, uh, jumped over Dallas in the standings. Yeah. Um, if you are worried about this a little bit at this point, um, if we are in a rebuild or if we're going to end up pulling ourselves out of it at the end of the year, like we always do. <laughs> right. A flair for the dramatic. Yeah, this team definitely has it. Uh, they kind of remind me of the cardiac kids that made that playoffs that one year. You, you know, you remember yeah. that first, right? Yeah, yeah. Even you started losing your hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was one of the years, man. Hiding inside a bottle of vodka. Hey, but the, hey, but this game was fun to watch. It really was. Like I said, Rocco played his ass off. All these young, talented players that are coming up showed that they belong. Honestly, Heinz, you might want to start uh, playing your future stars because they're ready to go. Hell, yeah, I even, think that, hell, even Olivia had a fight tonight. Yeah, I saw that. Um, you know, I think that uh, when you look at this team, they're definitely playing a little better without the weight on it from the stress of, of certain things. Um, yeah. 
uh, certain guys have certain stresses. You know, uh, Pekka, Yossi, Young Croc. I think there's a couple others I may be missing. I'm sorry if I forgot, but they all got new babies. That definitely adds a stress at home. And that's easy to forget how many guys had a kid in Nashville. Jeez, like 20 players, it seemed. <laughs> yeah, so in, in that sense, it is a lot. Um, for those of you... Um, Why do you sound tired today? I am tired. It's been a long couple days. Oh, okay. Oh, you just seem exhausted, we're, and I have a doubt. We're currently working on what me and you have been talking about regarding our show. We'll tell them when, when it's done. Yeah, we'll show them when it's done. Yeah, we'll show you. We won't yeah, tell screw you. Screw talking about it. We'll just show you. <laughs> yeah, we let our actions do the talking. By the way, also, you could get Admiral Season tickets till to this day. You could call them at 414 227 Zero five five zero. You can call, ask for Brian Burns or Ryan McCampbell, mine and his reps. They will take really good care of you. Or you could deal with a plethora of other Admirals representatives that will gladly they're, they're assist you with all your ticket needs. Don't worry. They'll, um, they'll, you could, they'll hook you up. You also have flex pl- 10 game flex plans. By the way, you can use those all 10 tickets. Say you're traveling with a group of 10 to an Admirals game or whatever. Yeah, you take 10, 10 people to one game. Yep, you can take all 10 people to one game. Or it, five to two and do the math from there. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it trickles down. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if, uh, how the seating format's going to look like because there's still no official word to the capacity. All I hear is what people hopes what will happen, but there's no official yes or no. So until I hear a yes or no one way or the other, it's hard also, to really judge. Also, if you are a fan of St. Patrick's Day, the Admirals have a deal right now going where if you buy um, an Admiral's uh, hat, a St. Patrick's Day hat, you get yeah. a, a light blue ticket voucher. Ah, okay. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks, but you get a light blue ticket voucher, and, and I think you get like a pint glass or something. For people in Nashville, light blue is the section located behind the goal. Yes. For people that don't know the arena. Correct. If you know the Panther arena, you should know by now. <laughs> oh, yes, there's there's a lot, and, and they're all good for next year, so you're good to go. Yeah. Um, I have like five vouchers already, so... Yeah, yeah. But we will uh, be seeing you guys tomorrow with Florida Everblades coverage against the Orlando Solar Bears. I'm David Goodmo. That's Christopher Draves. Thank you to our sponsor, Hockey Locker. Subscribe and click that bell on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Give us a follow from Milwaukee to Nashville or Facebook dash MKE to Nash. See y'all later. Peace.